You dad. What do you think of Whitney? Yeah, she's nice. She's fit. I said she could come on for Sunday lunch one weekend. <gasps> Great, yeah. Oh, you've gone right no, back. We have gone back, haven't we, baby? Oh, I loved this Come sit down. I thought you were both incredible. And actually, this is when I thought you were good at this. You know what Nancy was saying? You know, about you being gay. Just wanted to say, if she wasn't lying, that it would be okay. His little face. Mm. I know that being gay, it's not a choice. It was an actor. It's, I think it would have changed the being... perception there was of me mm. as a human being. Yeah. For someone to come out to someone of what I meant to represent. Mm. And you know, you can tell me anything. I just want you to know that you can tell me anything. Because you're my son. And you mean the world to me. <laughs> you and Sam yeah. in this scene are so on the money. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Don't. Stop it. You're going to start me off in a minute. It's all right. It's all right, John. Listen, I love you, boy. I love you. It's so simple. Yeah. On the settee, he tells yeah. me, and it's like, and? So what? Come here. I'm so proud of you. Because <laughs> I know. Well, you just told me. No one gets murdered. No, it's no. It's a great big storyline leading up to it. It was brilliant. It was brilliant. So it was simple. Brilliant. And that's what I thought. Hold on a minute. Actually, I'm really proud to be in this show. <laughs> so you're the one we should have called Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right, all right? OK? I promise you. Good boy. Oh, look. Oh dear, Linda Carter, oh, she did not no, cope with it well, no. did she? Well, I, I love Linda Carter, but she gets it very, yeah, very wrong like, sometimes. Because I thought I was going to get a lot of, like, you know, from the old school mob, you know, going, oh, what are you doing, playing now? I can't believe. Well, yeah. I did actually have a few homophobic tweets, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. I absolutely assassinated them on Twitter. I thought, I'm not having this. Yeah, yeah. And I think I dealt with it in the right way, because this changed a lot of people's lives. And I still get letters to this day from... They don't even want an autograph, which is a bit upsetting. <laughs> just want to tell me their story and say, look, thank you. Mm. And that is better than any vote or award you can ever win. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh you made me jump. Hey, won't be long. Downstairs. No, Dean, I'm serious. Please! No! 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, but what's that for me and for you? What I really remember about this episode and filming it with Matt was how nervous he was. Yeah. Because it was harder for him. I really do think it was harder for him in a way because he. Well, let's be fair, he came into the show not knowing this was going to happen. Yeah. This is when it all changed, isn't it? Really? Yeah, this is when you could really, I mean, this is, it's horrific. As an actress, it was a gift for you. Oh, yeah. This is, a, this is about you now shifting, a major shift. Mm. And some real problems with this for me. And I would know, you know, I know you're inside they've been out. together so I mean, long. look at you coming out of this, I mean, look, no. look how you're playing that. How else can you play it? No yeah. sign of Cheryl, babes. She actually, she's done a runner. And they but give me would... loads of dialogue yes. to mm. make it look like I'm my mind somewhere else because I've got the Shirley thing. But look at you. Have you been cleaning? You sort of have to play these little beats that don't necessarily up. always work and aren't truthful just to get to move the story on. Because obviously, if you clock it straight away and we go end up in that what's wrong, what's wrong conversation, I could have ended up telling you there and then and then there's no story. Well done with Dean, by the way. Seemed a lot calmer. What? actually made me realise how much being in a show 
like EastEnders, how many people it reaches and what effect you can have on people's lives just by being in a television programme and what that can... Do you know what I mean? It can, I mean, it's not... You know, we're not politicians or anything else, but we can... You can well, make a little bit of a difference bit. and you can, yeah. you know, change people's perceptions of things and it's very powerful. It's one of the things I'm most proud of this episode. Get it off. There ain't a great tradition of after dinner speaking in the Carter clan. Merry Christmas. Oh dear. I may not get another chance. That's a year ago. I know. I know. It, I know it is, Dan. <laughs> a good husband. Treat her like a queen. I mean, this I, I think this is up there one of the best Christmas eps. I think this was a real dark, proper extended Christmas, mm, isn't it? It was. It was brilliant. Mick. 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 Oh, here she is. I'm reacting to the rape thing, the mother you. thing. Yeah, I know. The you brother just thing. Out. Not now. It's important. Stan not being me dad. Please, Mick, outside. You oh, stay no. All in one go. Because <laughs> you don't want him to hear what I've got to say. You want to keep him close. Oh, it's Dean. That's just in time for coffee. You need to tell him the truth. Stay outside! Death. Nick. She said Nick, stay she's out. she's lying to you! We sit down, you know, because we've got the A big stunt. The big stunt, what we're going to do, what do you want to do to him and all that. Mm. I mean, obviously, they turned down everything I wanted to do to him. <laughs> I really oh, no. wanted to nut him, and I was only allowed three punches and all this stuff, and that was winding me up. She's lying to you. Look at me. Look at me. She's been lying. That's why I wanted to nut him there. Mm. I wanted to just give him a little cheeky nut. Even I... a double nut. Yeah. Like a bump bump. Me? No! <laughs> Had a rubber table, rubber chair. I know, bless him. And the table was cracked in the middle, wasn't it? So yeah. I had to grab a certain part. But to be fair, I think he gets off quite lightly. Couldn't have done it any better, but to be honest with you. 